What's going on guys? Thrash here, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. EA has announced the first event of NHL 23 and today I'm going to take you through all 10 MSPs and tell you who I think you should take for your free one from completing objectives. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the objectives on the screen right here. There we go and honestly it's going to take you about 3-4 weeks to complete the objectives. You're going to have enough time to get them done, don't worry, because the big one here, complete 109 games. That seems like a lot. But for a lot of people who play all 50 games of Rivals and Champs every week, like that's two weeks and the next nine games, you can do that in squad battles. So like, it's going to be a balance. Yeah, if you are a casual player, getting 109 games in is going to be a lot. However, it's going to be worth it for a free 88 overall card. It's something that we weren't getting last year that we are getting this year and I think is a huge help. So I definitely think this is something you should be doing. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through all the 10 MSPs. But before I do, if you guys are new, please consider subscribing to the channel. NHL 23 drops in a couple days, and I can't wait to share all the different series and videos and news that I can with you guys. It's going to be an amazing year, and I can't wait for it. So if you guys are on the lookout for some top-tier NHL content, I'm okay, you might want to go somewhere else. But if you want some goofy-ass content, this is the place to be. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the MSPs. All right, guys, and first off, we have Bowen Byram of the Colorado Avalanche, a six foot one defenseman, decent skating, decent shot, like pretty much everything about this card is decent. Nothing absolutely outstanding about him, but he does have silver wheels. He also has Gladiator and Thief, obviously with the uh, synergy changes, that's gonna change from what we know from last year. I will have a video going through all the synergy changes in the future, but for now, he has Gladiator and Thief. He has Gold Send It for his zone ability and for superstar abilities, of course, silver wheels and no contest. Looks like a really good card. Could be a great option for you. Next up from Vegas, 88 overall, Zach Whitecloud. He's a six foot two defenseman. This is probably the one player here that I'm least high on. Uh, he's six foot two, so people like their size, obviously. He does have gold 1T, and he has workhorse, which is going to help him out for acceleration. His accuracy isn't great. His deking isn't great. Good defensive card for sure. But I think at the beginning of the year, you're looking for somebody a little bit more dynamic, and I don't think Zach Whitecloud is that card. So this is my first one, and I'm going to push to the side and say, Realistically, I mean, if you're a Vegas fan or if you're a White Cloud fan or whatever, take them. Like, you can use whatever card you want. Don't listen to the, me or other creators when they say, don't use this kind of guy. Play with whoever the hell you want to play with. From my personal opinion, he's probably the weakest one out of the bunch. Next up, we have Alex Debrinkat, of course, of the Ottawa Senators, the newly acquired Alex Debrinkat. And he looks phenomenal. Skating insane. Shot looks unreal. Hands are great. Now, here's the caveat. Of course, people are going to be upset because he's very small. He's only five foot seven. I prefer to use smaller players, players like Johnny Gaudreau I loved last year, and I can't wait to see how they play this year. I might go with Alex Dabrinkat. He looks really good, and yes, I, I'm aware that like that won't make me a competitive player. I'm not a top-tier Div 1 player. I'm not amazing at the game as it is. I don't expect to be there. So Alex Dabrinkat is going to be a lot of fun to use. Not only is he small, but he has elite edges. He has decent abilities. Like I think this is going to be a really good card to use at the beginning of the year. So ADB could be a good pickup. Speaking of Johnny Gaudreau, here he is, 5'9 for Columbus. He's left-handed, ADB is right-handed. You could go either or. It's a toss-up between the two. Both of them look phenomenal. I would say uh, probably Gaudreau would be a little bit better. Just a little bit better. They both have elite edges, but Gaudreau has a wingman. That's going to add an additional two to his speed. He's going to fly out there, and that could be a really big thing for the beginning of the game. Obviously, a lot of players are low overall. They have low skating. Johnny Gaudreau with 94 speed out the gate could be insane. So Johnny Goudreau is definitely in my top three at the moment. Next up, David Pasternak of the Boston Bruins. First of all, the card art is just so nice. But second, guys, this might be one of the best cards we've had at launch all uh, uh, ever. Like this is phenomenal. Now it's probably gonna come out Friday. The event will probably come out Friday. But regardless, David Pasternak at 88 overall, always a fun card to use. And he does have Wingman, which is going to help him out with his skating. Now, not only that, I zoomed in here. You can see he has a new synergy. So this could be a really fun card to use. Of course, he's going to be fast. He has an amazing shot and his hands are gross. So Johnny Gaudreau on one side or David Pasternak on the other, I don't think you're going wrong with either side. If you pick, you know, a left-handed forward, Johnny Gaudreau would be my pick. If you want a right-handed forward, David Pasternak is my pick. Next up, we have Megan Keller at 88 overall for Team USA. Now, the one thing I want to point out is she has Spark, which means that she's going to have 93 acceleration right out the gate if you can get that active. Absolutely huge. And she has Truculence. That's going to help as well. Not the biggest card at 511. However, it's 511. It's not 55. Could be a very usable card. The one thing that is an issue, of course, is the shot power. But if you can get around that, it could be a very useful card. So on the left side, you have Keller, and on the right side, we have Chris Letang of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Looks like a pretty good card. 
Like, all of these cards are going to be good. Let's be real. Day one of Hut, they're going to be good cards. It's the beginning of the year, first event. They're going to be good. You can use any of these guys. They're all going to make a difference. But with Chris Flatang, he has tape to tape. He has gold, stick him up. And he's got decent skating, an okay shot. The accuracy is not great, but his defense is very high. Could be another good option. Now, I said for a left-handed shot, you're going to want Johnny Gaudreau. For a right-handed shot, David Posternock. And if you want a center, you're going to take Jared McCann. An absolutely awesome-looking card to start the year. Uh, the abilities aren't really my favorite. I will admit that. But he does have Distributor, which has changed. Distributor now adds one to Acceleration, two to Deking, two to Faceoffs, and two to Passing. But that one extra little bump to Acceleration still going to be a big help. 92 Excel, 91 Speed with a good shot, good hands, and decent Faceoffs, especially with Distributor active. This is going to be a top-tier center for a little bit in this game. This could be a good, really good option. If you're looking for a center, Jared McCann's your pick. Next up, we have Sarah Nurse, the cover athlete, 88 overall for Team Canada. 5'8", not the fastest skater, but with gold close quarters. That could be a really interesting card to start the year. Get them close to the net and put that puck in. Sarah Nurse looks all right. So yeah, she's listed as a left winger, but her face-offs are 88. So you can use this card at center position as well. Could be a great option for you. Again, I'm not huge on the uh, the superstar abilities. Does have distributor to help out with the acceleration in the faceoffs even more. That could be a really good card, honestly. And last but not least, we have Trevor Zegris, the other cover athlete here. He looks great. My one issue with him, my one issue in general, are his abilities. I'm not a fan of these abilities whatsoever. And his synergies aren't amazing either. So those being combined with everything else, I think Jared McCann actually ends up being the better card at center. Even though Zegris does have a great card, his hands are disgusting, of course. Face-offs are a little bit low, but Trevor Zegris, I would put a tier below Jared McCann. So my top pick for center is Jared McCann. My top pick for left wing would be Johnny Gaudreau. My top pick for right wing, David Posternock. Now for the defenseman, I am going to go with Bowen Byram as my top pick for the left side. However, I cannot discredit Keller. Keller does not look like a bad card whatsoever. So if you guys are interested in using one of the women early in the game, she is 5'11", so it's not like it's a huge difference between her and Bowen Byram. You can try her out. I don't think she'd be a big issue for you at all. And for the right side, obviously there's no goalies, but for the right side, between White Cloud and Latang, I am going to go with Chris Latang here. He just looks like the better card. He's a little bit smaller, but he's a better skater, and he has a better shot. And on top of that, I think he's going to be a little bit better with his abilities as well. So in general, I'm going Chris Latang on the right side. So those are the cards I would pick depending on what position you want from your free card here in NHL 23. Now, as with everything, take everything I just said with a grain of salt. Take the card you want to take and play with the players you want to play with. If you like White Cloud, if you like Trevor Zegers, take them, use them, love them. No matter what, who you take in this event, you're going to enjoy. And I believe if you pre-order the game, you get an 84 as well that you can start working up. So make these cards, use whoever the hell you want to use and start upgrading your team early. Again, you need to complete all those objectives to get a free 88, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the end. These cards are going to be sick and on your team for quite a while. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know down below who you're taking for your free 88 overall card. I know it's going to take a little bit to get them, but it's definitely worth it. And I can't wait to try them all out. I will be making a couple of these guys, 100%. I have to start off my team right. But like I said, that's going to do it for this video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.